L. Ron Hubbard is one of the most interesting people uh, to come along in a very, very long time. I was always fascinated by him because the, the range of topics that he dealt with was virtually endless. I mean, I wouldn't even know how to classify him or categorize him. He, he, was, he was a philosopher. He was a theologian. He was something of an astronomer, a, a cosmologist. Uh, he was a biological researcher. He was a, a physicist, a scientist. He dealt with agriculture. He was a pilot, an, an airman. He was a sailor. Uh, he, he was virtually everything. And you don't, you don't meet many people like this who, who are that far reaching in terms of touching so many different uh, aspects of, of life. Of course, he wrote about all these things. He was a prolific writer. I had the opportunity to read uh, a number of his writings. And I don't think there's been anybody that I'm aware of who, who was more prolific as a writer so quite an impressive fellow. I mean, there, there have been people throughout history who are brilliant men. I mean, I, I think of people like uh, Isaac Newton and uh, Albert Einstein, Thomas Jefferson. These people were brilliant people, but uh, those people didn't have the range that he had. He was, uh, like most of us, in that he was interested in the most basic question. It's interesting that, I mean, we're, we're pretty far along, pretty far developed as a human civilization, but there's still a lot of questions that we don't know the answers to. Different groups think that they have the answers to these questions. Uh, that's why we have different philosophies and different religions and different perspectives and different worldviews. Uh, and he had his own, of course, but he not only in, engaged with these questions, uh, what is man? Uh, what is God? What is the universe? What is our relationship to the universe and to ultimate things, uh, what is spirit. And he was interested in all these questions. In that respect, he was, he was rooted in history. He was rooted in human culture, the development over time of human culture, saw the, uh, the future of humanity in very positive terms. He thought we had a long way to go in terms of developing who we can be. But that was all, what he was all about, was solutions, not only answers to these deep, eternal questions, but solutions in terms of how to become better people, how to improve humanity, how to improve our relationships among each other, how to develop our spiritual side. He was just very, very profound, very deep thinking in these things. And he was also unique in that he, he devised new answers to some of these questions. The total combination, the, the accumulation of all the, the answers to these questions was somewhat new in the philosophy or theology or worldview of what he came to call Scientology. So I think the world could benefit a lot from L. Ron Hubbard. It's an ideology that has captured the minds and hearts and trust of millions of people around the world. A lot of people had their lives improved greatly enhanced through uh, reading about uh, L. Ron Hubbard and, and his ideas, becoming members of the Church of Scientology, and um, millions would testify to the benefits of being a Scientologist. So in, in that respect, he has made a real contribution to human life.